Mandalas are a sacred art of Tibetan monks. They represent hope and life. To begin construction, the monks consecrate the area, chant, and create an altar with offerings to their holiness, the Dalai Lama. Then, the real work begins. With what looks like a geometry class, the monks sketch out the shapes and details for the mandala. A compass ensures that all measurements are exact, because even though it looks like a blank canvas for expression, there are strict rules to mandala creation. There's really no um, cre personal creativity in the mandalas. Occasionally they'll, they'll do a little something different, but even then it's always very by the book as far as mandalas go. The sand comes in more than a dozen different colors, and their tools come in different shapes and sizes. The monks use a metal funnel called a chalk pour to make their sand paintings. The sand goes in this end, and when they rub this metal stick over the ridges, it helps the sand come out more like a liquid. Sounds easy enough, right? Wrong. Even though the sand comes out more fluidly, the monks still spend days on the smallest of details, bracing themselves on the platform to get the sand placed just right. The monks tighten the robes to relieve the stress on their lower backs, and they use elbow pads to comfort their aching arms. It takes more than a steady hand to complete a mandala. It takes a steady spirit. In this art, it shows uh, how we can transform our body, speech, and mind. And uh, so it's a, basically it's a, it's a road map for uh, uh, you know, transformations. All the while, their leader, the Holy Dalai Lama, looks on. The transformation from day one is astounding, and when the mandala is completed, it looks like the artwork that would spend years behind glass in a museum, but this art will not even see tomorrow. It represents the human life. When you're born, you have a blank canvas. Through the choices you make, the things that you do, you create the mandala of your life, whether it be beautiful, whether it be terrible, but that is your mandala. But at the end, there's nothing to hold on to. And so they push all the sand to the middle to represent that you just have to let go of, of whatever it is. You can't take that picture with you. You can't take the beauty with you. So with the traditional Tibetan horns and chanting for prayers to be answered, the sand is swept to the middle of the platform, all colors mixing into one. Small packets of sand are dispersed to the crowd in remembrance, and the rest is thrown into the water. With hopes that it will flow back to the sea and spread their message of peace. With Star City News, I'm Brittany Jones Cooper.